Historic sites and monuments are really our connection to people in the past. They are more than just the, the brick and mortar that they're constructed from. They're really that uh, tangible representation of the history that's come before us. By doing the work that we do, we're not only ensuring that the physical monuments um, are around for generations to come, but we're making them digitally available so that people all over the world have an opportunity to connect with these places to ignite wonder, curiosity, and promote a shared understanding of our past. In order to capture these sites, SciArc uses everything from LiDAR or 3D laser scanning to uh, photogrammetry to even aerial imaging with drones. When our team goes into the field, they're capturing millions and billions of individual data points and, and all of that goes into forming this one uh, cohesive 3D surface model of the site. Using that 3D model, we're able to extract a number of products that help the conservators and the architects do their work in the field. Some of these places are, are so remote. We had a team that just traveled 30 hours to get to a location in, in a remote part of Peru. And they're there to you know, capture a large amount of data in a short amount of time. A typical project is between two and four terabytes. Our team is maximizing the amount of information that they can collect in a day, making sure that we have you know, the right scanners, the right cameras, the right drones in the field. And we count on Seagate to provide that in-field backup as well. Fast and reliable hard drives make sure that we're not only able to back up that data each night and ensure that it's secure, but that also that we're able to, to know that when we do that backup that that data is coming home with us. We hope that we can be a resource for this information, maybe go back to some of these places over time as they change, that we can really be the definitive source of data around cultural heritage, not just for research, but for any, any member of the public that might want to learn about a new culture or, or a foreign place and get access to that right at their fingertips. We're doing a big project right now to open up our archive because so much of the types of data that we've collected over the years, that when they were collected were, were very difficult to use and, and the tools to interact with this type of material was very limited. That, that has changed. For the first time, what we're seeing is a real opportunity to activate that data within our archive. We can go into some of these uh, legacy projects and breathe new life in them through technologies like uh, virtual reality so that people can explore it through this new medium. It was such an honor to make it out to Chicago to accept the Ptolemy Award in person. For us, it's not just about gathering all this data, it's also about making it available, securing it, and bringing it to life and we've got a great partnership to do that and, and we're so excited about where this can go.